Hey guys, it's Brady and Hannah, and we just got a big package from Big Agnes, who's a outdoor gear company, and they were kind enough to sponsor us with a whole bunch of equipment, so we're going to open it up and show you what they gave us and give you some first impressions. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so beautiful. Ooh. Where did this? Sleeping bags. This is mine. Women's traditional mummy SL. And traditional mummy. The two sleeping bags. And the tent. Awesome. Let me see the Looks tag good. there. Really light. Ultra light. Three season freestanding ultralight backpacking tent. This Integrated is, mountain glow. Yeah, this is new. It has lights built in. That's pretty cool. So awesome. We'll get into that. What are those? Uh, oh, these are the mattress pads. Or the All right, so first up is the Q Core SL. This is the sleeping pad. So we have them blown up. It took maybe five minutes to blow one up. Yeah, Tell me. I feel pretty breathless. Yeah, <laughs> but it's not so bad. But as far as comfort goes, what do you think? Really good, yeah. Way I can sleep better. In a tent in this. Yeah, way better than our other pads. We, in the past, we just had the little foam pads that didn't inflate at all. And this is just a completely different Yeah, totally different ball game. experience. Yeah, exactly. And you can sleep on your side, no problem. No problem. Which is nice, so we can snuggle <laughs> like this. But on the, in other air mattresses, you can't really sleep on your side because oh, no. your, your hips just hit the, floor. hit the floor and it makes it really comfortable. But this is no problem at all. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Love it. One of the concerns we had was what if something happens while we're out in the middle of nowhere and we have a puncture or it starts to leak, what do we do? So the fabric feels really durable. I'm not really too concerned about it puncturing, but if it does, it comes with a repair kit. So we have several different patches made of the same material along with some adhesive to go with it. So we're covered. Okay, this is the women's traditional mummy SL sleeping bag. I'm so excited. I think this is the best part. Alright, I'm coming. Yay! Here it is! Oh, it's so pretty! Wow! I like the mummy bag. This is a nice safety tab to keep the zipper pulled up while you're sleeping. And the zipper goes kind of underneath the bag all the way down to the feet. Inside the bag we have kind of a little lip here, a protective lip to keep the bag from snagging. Over here. I don't know what this is. What is that? Are these little like... I don't know. Pillows? Climb inside and find out. Uh, keep your face warm. Oh, or keep your head it's kind of tucked stabilized. In. Is it warm? Yeah, it's really warm. I like it. Cool. All right, we cinched your face up real tight. How do you feel? I feel really warm. It's getting really warm in here. But it's a good kind of warm. It's really cozy. There's enough room where I don't feel like constrained, but it's close enough where I feel snuggly. No. And I can kiss you like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here's my bag. This is the Big Agnes it's traditional mummy. This is the Spike Lake model. Um, 
model. Let's see. Comes with a stuff sack like the other bag. And here it is. It's pretty too. One last note on these two bags is they are extremely light. I was very impressed, um, especially considering how warm they are. They're both two pounds and seven ounces. And that's what Big Agnes is kind of known for as having really high quality stuff that's extremely, extremely light. So I cannot be happier about the weight of these bags. All right, and then finally we have the Copper Spur UL2 Ultralight tin. And the first thing I noticed when holding this is that it cannot possibly be a tent because it is so small and it is so light. It is only two pounds and 14 ounces for a tent. So let's open it up and see what we have. Okay, here's our new home. This is the Copper Spur 2L Mountain Dwell two person tent. As you can see, it has a lot of height to it. That's really why we wanted it. it. Most of the tents for two people that are ultra light, they're really small and you can't really sit up inside your tent. So all you do is you go in and you sleep. But since this is kind of like our safe haven for the two months we're in Israel, we really wanted a place where we could read our books, you know, take a rest, just feel like we are in our environment. And so as you can see, we have lots of space up here. The system of setting it up with the um, metal wires, the bars, was so easy. This is about a five minute setup, our first time doing it, and so I can imagine we can get that down to maybe three minutes. The metal inside, there is a like a bungee cord, and so really all you have to do is bring the pieces of the metal into the right direction, and they snap into place. So there is no effort on your part. So that was really, really easy. There are little attachment points everywhere on the tent. There are two entrances into the tent on both sides. And so really easy entrance. You don't have to climb over each other to get in. Like I said, this is a two person tent. So we have both of our air mattresses in here. Really, really roomy. All right, so this is inside our honeymoon suite. Yay. It's really spacious for an ultralight tent. Yeah, like Hannah was saying, normally ultralight tents are basically just kind of a sack that you crawl into and sleep but this is really nice yeah um nice to sit up. let's see i'll show you some things here is the um switch for the mountain glow um lights and so all sewn in right in here are lights and little led lights that you can switch on and off and so we're going to do another video later that shows you the lights and the uh fly tarp that goes in to make it rain Proof and also provides you with a big vestibule outside the doors to keep your gear um, stashed. Some other things inside, we have some nice pockets back here to keep your stuff in. And there's a little headphone jack there at the bottom. It has some more pockets down here along the side to keep you uh, to keep your phone and things in. It's really nice. 